Hi, good day. I am Lauren Spicatinde from Grade 9, Section Dominions. In today's video, I'll explain and demonstrate how the extinction of representative microorganisms, plants, and animals works and unfolds from century to century. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Enjoy! First and foremost, Earth is home to millions of species of life, even as humans. But why do certain plants, microbes, and animals become extinct? Simply put, it is because of our inability to be responsible stewards of the planet on which we live or the natural problems and events that arose in every generation. There are instances when things just happen without anyone knowing they are on the verge of extinction. Many of us will wonder, why? It simply answers that question by proving that there are no everlasting things living in this world. We will get old, die, become dust. Yes, indeed, in this world, nothing and no one are everlasting. Anyways, let's get back to what we're going to talk about, and here it is. Let us first define extinction and what it really refers to. Extinction pertains to the concept of the demise of the last member of a specific species. Due to extinction, there will be no more given species that exist here on land. Microorganism Edward Jenner, a British physician and scientist, is well known around the world for his pioneering contributions to smallpox vaccine and eradication. This was a disease with an effective vaccination. It was a significant virus because it demonstrated to people that there was something they could do about it. They were viruses that one could defeat using the knowledge of science. Smallpox was eradicated throughout the world in May 1980, and this was one of the greatest triumphs of the human race. Caused by the rinderpest virus which mostly infected the cattle and buffalo. The infected animals developed symptoms such as fever, mouth wounds, discharge from the nose and eyes, and eventually perished. In 2011, the Global Rinderpest Eradication Program or GREP continues to search for rinderpest samples. However, they have not identified and spotted any, and as a result, the World Health Organization or WHO for Animal Health proclaimed that the rinderpest eradicated on May 25, 2011. Plants symmetrical tree that will gradually grow to be 20 feet tall and a little wider. It is a monotypic genus in the tree family ACA that is native to Georgia's Altamaha River Valley in the southern eastern United States. This plant, Franklin tree, has been extinct in the wild since 1803. A flowering tree in the legume family, Fabaceae, that is only found on Easter Island. By the first half of the 17th century, heavy deforestation had ripped out the majority of the island's forests. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or the IUCN, the once common Toromero became rare and disappeared in the wild in the 1960s. This is a small tree that was picked or harvested in India for the construction of house posts. Only a century later, in 1998, this tree was designated as an extinct plant. This is a giant species that is only found and native in Sri Lanka, in the Indian Ocean, a biodiverse island with high endemism. This was the plant identified, spotted, and reported at the Paladenia Botanical Garden. However, according to a survey conducted in 1998, this was not discovered. As a result, this plant became known as extinct. It is a blooming plant found only on the island of St. Helena. During the year 1977, only one tree was spotted or found in the wild, where a solitary cutting was sustainably grown. When this tree passed in 1994, the plant's life became dependent on the number of seedling growth from the nurtured cutting. 
These plants lasted until 2003 when the cultivated seedlings and cuttings perished to fungal diseases. Due to deforestation, this tree became extinct excessively as well as the trees' incompatibility with themselves and the nature. Animals It is a lazy fat bird with small wings and large beak and is 3 feet tall. Couldn't fly and wouldn't run and attack, becoming the very image of extinction. At the end of 16th century, when sailors arrived on the Mauritius coast, the dodo was easily hunted and spooked. By 1662, they had indeed vanished and became extinct. Their disappearance was primarily caused by human activities, most notably overhunting. It is a flightless seabird that used to be found all over the North Atlantic. Nearly 3 feet tall, the great auk was a large bird indeed, but the story involving one of the last living auks was perhaps more unusual than its size. They are extremely vulnerable to passing sailors for they move very slowly while out of the water and return to the same location every year to breed. The great auk, also known as the gear fowl, became extinct in the early 19th century, around 1844, when three men killed the last breeding pair. They became extinct due to unrestricted hunting and the acquisition of specimens for museums. The International Union for Conservation of Nature or the IUCN dates the extinction of the Great Auk to 1852. These species are native to New Zealand. They who loves the last laugh best went extinct around the year 1914. Its disappearance was most likely caused by habitat conservation and lack of resistance against its predators who were wild mammoths. People also hunted the owl for museums and zoos, and land changes may have also played a role in the extinction of these creatures. It is a marsupial mammal that appeared to be a combination between a wolf, a fox, and a large cat. It has a yellowish-brown fur and fierce jaws. On September 7, 1936, nearly two months after the species was granted protective status, the last member of the thylacine named Menjamin died as a result of its exposure in the Beaumari Zoo in Hobart. This species was located in the Caribbean island area and is a marine mammal. Despite little research, this species has not been spotted since 1952 and it has been declared extinct due to human factors. This is not the only species that have vanished throughout the last 40 years but it may be the brightest in terms of how it appears. This is a brilliantly luminous colored creature that was discovered in Costa Rica's high altitude ridges. It was declared extinct during the 15th of May 1989. Its extinction was caused by pollution, global warming, and fungal skin illnesses. The extinction of this species was perhaps the most frightening and disturbing in recent years as it was instantaneous, inexplicable, and occurred in the middle of a protected forest. It was indeed educational. As I was gathering such information, my heart was genuinely touched. I realized that even though some land species are endangered, we don't have the right to persecute and exterminate them. They too are part of God's creation on earth. Humans are not the only living organisms on earth. There are many more living creatures. Without biodiversity, the world as we know it will cease to exist. Biodiversity is life. Science is significant in the lives of all biological organisms as it helps us in our everyday living. We must all work together to make the world in which we live a better place for us to live as well as to the future generations. For 
Furthermore, let us always apply the value and knowledge of science. Care for others and live with a sense of purpose. That's all. I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Thank you.